The reality is that what you do in the present, that will determine your future. Your approach towards your present will determine your future in this world, in the dunya, and it will determine your future in the akhirah. I have been tasked by the organizers to discuss, to unpack, and to elaborate on a very famous hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the opening words of this hadith are, Ightanim khamsan qabla khamsin. The Nabi of Allah says, Appreciate five things before five. And this hadith has become renowned as the hadith of five before five. And what are those five things? Shababaka qabla haramik. Appreciate your youth before your old age. Wasihataka qabla saqamik. Appreciate your health before you become sick. Waghinaka qabla faqrik. Appreciate your wealth before poverty. Wafarahaka qabla shughlik. Appreciate your free time before you become occupied. Wahayataka qabla motik. And appreciate your life before death. So these are the five things that we are going to unpack and that we are going to discuss. But before I go into the hadith proper, let us understand that the scholars have told us that this hadith is one of the core ahadith in Islamic tradition. Because it is motivating us towards right action in the different circumstances and the different phases of our life. This hadith, in a few words, is telling us about the different stages and the different phases that we will find ourselves in during the course of our life. And it is conscientizing us. It is making us aware as to how to approach these different sets of circumstances. It's warning us before it's too late. It wants to protect us from major mistakes in life. It's highlighting to us these a few simple sentences from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's blessed lips, it is highlighting to us that as Muslims, what should be our goals, what should be our priorities, and what should be our aspirations in life. Now there are two key principles, two key principles which are being highlighted in this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The first is the principle of time management. And understanding that there needs to be a sense of urgency in our lives. That's the first principle which is being highlighted in this hadith. And the second principle is expressing proper shukr and gratitude to Allah for His bounties. So time management and gratitude, these are the two overarching principles which are highlighted in this prophetic tradition of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you look at the language of this hadith, it's telling us that life is short. It's highlighting to us the limited nature of our life. And it's emphasizing the point that time is fast running out. It wants us to act now to seize the moment. I'm going to use these phrases repeatedly in this discourse. Act now, seize the moment. It's not much about what happened in the past or what's going to happen in the future. It's about the year. It's about the now. So that's the first major theme that this hadith is emphasizing. The second is gratitude. If you look at all of these five, your youth, your health, your wealth, your time and your life, these are major bounties which Allah has given us. So the second principle which this hadith is driving home is that listen, use these bounties which Allah has given you constructively. Utilize it in the obedience of Allah. The greatest act of ingratitude, the greatest act of ingratitude is to use that which Allah has given you in the disobedience of Allah. May Allah protect us from such ingratitude. So this hadith is telling us that do not only verbally be grateful to Allah, where you say, Alhamdulillah, Allahumma lak alhamdu wa lak ashuk. But use these bounties which Allah has given you to do the right things at the right time and physically show your gratitude to Allah. 
To get more updates from iMedia, subscribe to our channel, click the like and bell buttons as we should go a long way to support us.